Well, hello, farm and friends, and welcome back to another edition of Farm Simulator 2015 with me, your old buddy, Mr. Moose. Hey, we're back on Manchester and continuing on. Yesterday, uh, you guys uh, may remember we put herbicide into the fields and got our weed prevention done. Now we're just kind of got three days to kill uh, until we get some planting done or, or until our, we get some growth, uh, which means we're going to be out in the fields and doing just things around the farm for a little bit. Today we're going to be mowing some grass and starting to build up a reserve so we can get some sheep put in. Um, i got to be honest with you, I'm not really in love with this John Deere tractor. And uh, I'll talk a little bit about it in today's show. Um, but we're going to be mowing grass today and I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to use the other John Deere. I think I'm just going to use the Fent because I really like the Fent. So, um, we'll get it fired up and get going. And who knows, this might become just a fent only farm eventually. It might sell off all the John Deere's. So, here's the thing with John Deere's, and I've always been pretty, I've always been pretty hard on mods. Let me get that lined up right. I've always been pretty hard on mods. Most of y'all who've watched this channel for a long time know that. Um, I've always been pretty judgmental on mods as far as what they brought to the table and were they quality mods. I don't like port overs. I don't like um, half-ass efforts on, on mods. I like to see them be complete. And, um, and I know a lot of people who are like that. Um, and it seems like we all give anything with the word John Deere on it a pass just because we're so desperate to get John Deere mods in. I mean, I can't, I, I'll be honest, I want John, if I could get a farm with nothing but John Deere equipment on it, I would do a nothing but John Deere farm. And, uh, and I would absolutely love to do that. But it's just not out there because the mods aren't there. And, with them not there, then we start settling for things that just aren't complete and just aren't right. And all of these little John Deere tractors are the same way. With Ago's tractor is pretty darn good. Uh, that 610 is really good. But as far as some of these other ones, they're just not there. Um, now there's a couple of them that I've found that aren't too bad. Um, but they have plow scripts in them, and the plow scripts uh, are make them slide, make them jerk, and do all kinds of little things. Um, and uh, yeah, I've tried to take the plow script out of a couple of them, uh, but when I did, it seemed to break the mod a little bit. But you would think it's on some tractors, it's just as easy as going into the zip file and pulling the plow script Lua out. Um, on others, uh, it's not so simple. Uh, they'll load into the game, but you can't purchase them in the store uh, if you do that to them. I don't know why. That's just the case I've had with a couple of them. So, um, looking into that, going to figure that out eventually. Because there are a couple of them out there that are pretty good my only hope my only hesitation for using them is because uh, of the plow script and the fact that when I do use them they uh, they tend to have issues with uh, bouncing around on screen so I don't know I'm sort of at a crossroads with the current John Deere's that I have on this farm because they're not really complete um, I mean, the one that we've been messing with and that uh, Serious Gamer dirtied up, it's still got a lot of issues with it. Uh, one of which is that really I don't like because I'm into using first person and I'm into using track IR and I can't do this in the other tractor. I can't turn my head in there and turn the camera. It, I have to do it off the joystick because it... Um, it doesn't support that um, and then it doesn't you know the radio's not working in it and all that other stuff so 
And then it got down to the turning radius the other day. This one with this shorter wheelbase on it turns so much better. It's like, why shouldn't I use this tractor over that tractor? Um, seeing as the fact that I can not leave all those little spots in the field. So little things like that as I start to notice them and everything, I start to think to myself, why am I, why am I letting these not complete mods why am I playing with them if they're not complete and they're not doing what I want them to do? So They may be on the chopping block. Maybe bringing some other tractors into the farm, getting rid of some, and uh, changing out equipment. So, uh, going to be testing out some other stuff and probably bringing some new stuff in um, down the road. But that's me, and again, everybody plays this game differently. So you may decide that you those don't bother you. Those may be, not be issues that plague you. You may be a lot more forgiving with things than I am uh, in your game style. So uh, just let you know what I'm doing, and uh, I'm not condemning anybody. I'm not going to sit there and go, dude, don't watch this guy's channel because he uses crap mods. No. Everybody has their own unique game style of gameplay and what they're going for. Some of the people don't like me because I don't go for ultra realism in this. You know, I don't, uh, I don't walk all the way across the farm to my tractors or I don't get in my pickup truck and drive to this section of the field and get in and walk and use the doors to open up and get in. And I, that's just not my style of play, but there, are you know, and that's other people's style of play. To each his own, and everybody has their own style, and that what's, that's what makes YouTube great, is everybody can find somebody that they like, and you can watch them and support them, and, you know, find what you like out there. Some people don't want a person who talks and yaks all the time in their video. Uh, they just want to watch their gameplay. Other people want to hear you they're not actually as much watching you farm as much as they're just listening to you yak and putting you on in the background for, you know, just cannon fodder. So, to each his own. But just letting you guys know where my where I stand with it. So, I asked you guys yesterday, and I've got to do a better job of not asking people questions at the end of the videos because I know only... Probably like five percent of you guys actually watch the entire video. Um, it's an hour long. Not everybody has an hour to sit and watch a video. I know that. Um, and uh, most of you guys only watch about ten minutes of it up to the first commercial break, and then you're out of it. I get that. But I asked yesterday, do you guys enjoy the Moco mowers? Uh, and the realism of them versus using something like the big chrome big x um i have to be honest with you i like using that chrome big x a lot and i, I said something about it yesterday um i enjoy using it and it may be something where i keep both of them i might keep this mower here for this farm and i might keep the big x somewhere else for doing big pasture areas not really sure i haven't decided yet I wouldn't mind using both of them, you know, and having variety on the farm. Um, so, uh, but I'd be curious, you know. So, if you're just seeing this for the first, you know, if you didn't watch all of yesterday's video and you're just watching this and you hear me talk about it for the first time, let me know. What do you think? Do you guys prefer? the moco and the realism of it uh or the more high volume self-propelled chrome big x mower um it's not always the big x it's the m500 or whatever it is that i was using on uh hills housing uh, just curious for your input i like them both but you know this one is much this method is much much slower that's my only concern with it is it takes so long it'll take basically this whole episode just to uh to mow this grass 
and to get it processed. I think to take this field to mow it, mow it, uh, windrow it, and collect it. Uh, when I did it in the live stream, it took me two hours. Uh, so it's it's quite time consuming to do it this way. And you guys might get bored with watching me drive around and around and around uh, on this field. So, uh, but I do plan on doing like a uh, pretty standard mowing job on this. So instead of going around and around in circles, I'll go around in circles for a bit and then we'll split the field in half and then go up and down the field. And the reason you do that is just you do it primarily just because if you go around and around in circles, eventually you get your circles too tight that you can't really uh, you can't make all your turns properly uh, and you start running into issues. So traditionally, like if you mow big swaths of fields, you usually go around them four times, four or five times, get your get your headland established, and then you come back into it and just go back and forth, back and forth in a circular motion. And uh, and that way you have nice straight, long straight lines that you can do. Because eventually you'll get to where you're turning too much and you'll miss spots and stuff if you're doing mowing in a circle the entire time. But that's another thing also that is one of those to each his own things. Everybody's got their own method for mowing. Mowing. Uh, it's just... Uh, everybody does it a different way. But it's like this right here. You get this little hitch right here going around in circles all the time. Where it's not an issue if I'm coming straight into it and then just turning out of it. And that's where just having nice long straight lines uh, and working around the field will eventually, things like that won't become an issue anymore. So yesterday in the video I talked about we may hit 5,000 viewers today and this would be like the 5,000 show. Uh, as of recording this we're off by like 7 viewers. <laughs> Missed it! <laughs> uh, which is no big deal to me. I'm really... I really don't know how to take all this. Um, I never expected this channel to grow up and be like this. And people all the time like... I'll be talking to people in Vent, uh, or I'm not Vent, but on TeamSpeak over on Fishing Planet, and someone new will look at my channel and, and go, oh my gosh, you got 4,000 subscribers, holy cow, blah, 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 and they make a big deal out of it. And it's never been a real big deal to me because it's never been about the subscriber base to me. It's always been just about making fun videos and, you know, sharing some hints and some tips for playing farm sim, doing tutorials on course play and things of that nature. It's just been about that for me and um, while I do monetize the videos, the money is minor and not really a big concern. It's it's always been a thing like, okay, well I'll monetize it if I make enough to pay for my internet, it offsets some of my expenses. And that's about it. But um, you're not getting rich doing this stuff. And um, so it really is just about, I play games, I record games, and I share some tips on things I've found that are helpful for me in this game. And, uh, you know, I hope you guys find that informative and useful for you. And if that's the case, if I help one person out with their struggles with, like, course play or... GPS mod or something like that you know just this map alone I can't tell you how many people I've helped out because they couldn't get Manchester to load because they couldn't figure it out and uh, 
so if I help one person out then taking the time to record a video has been a, a beneficial thing for me so um, you know, I hope you guys enjoy them I'll continue to make them I'm not really going to do anything amazingly special for a 5,000 show because I really can't think of anything that would be interesting to do um, I'm not going to give away a bunch of prizes and things like that it's just never been my it's not my purpose to try and gain a bunch of viewers and make the channel big and huge and all that other stuff oh come on man think about what you're doing here man that thing is locked in that's the one thing I don't like about this it, it will get in a certain part and lock up on you Let's see if I can get it to straighten out there it goes I wasn't thinking about what I was doing I was talking too much there we go should be right now talking too much and not paying enough attention to what I was actually doing um but yeah but we'll continue on with this thing and I guess tomorrow we'll have unless something major happens I should be able to pick up seven new people tomorrow between today and tomorrow and we can start off with a big hoo-ha yay now let's go to 10,000. <laughs> well, she just said you weren't interested in... <laughs> just kidding. Alright, so turn around. Get back over here. And we'll move down through here. Alright, now we should be good to go. Well, anyways, so... Like I said, I'm not really worried about the viewership thing. And, uh, while I've got, like, X number of subscribers, honestly, only about 200 people watch the videos every day, so... Uh, maybe if a little bit more than that. You guys are the ones that watch it on a consistent basis and I appreciate that and I especially appreciate you guys who are really active on the channel and comment on a regular basis and always there with a quick answer or quick suggestion to issues that I might have because the thing about it is if I'm having an issue, other people are having an issue, and when you guys comment on there and share your insight, it helps other people out, you know, and uh, I dig that about this community. Um, I mentioned yesterday in the video about the issue I had with the audio file in, the, uh, in Manchester. A few hours later, I get a message from shy wizard and um, coming back to tell me that he's got a little video clip I can watch on how to edit the volume in that and turn it down so I don't have to take that audio file out very helpful information for me you know appreciate that so very much um, I'd have to be honest with you I've not tackled enough of the Giants editor to know things like that it's one of those things I intend to teach myself, but um, it's not something I have the time to sit down and learn that much. So uh, I really do appreciate all your help and all of the uh, information you've given me. Um, because it uh, helps me out quite a bit. And that's why I say, you know, like if, uh, you know, yesterday we were talking about corn cedars or, or just cedars in general. And I said yesterday, you know, if, if you have suggestions on stuff, put them in the comments. 
because it may not be something that I want but it may be something that somebody else wants um, somebody else may be looking as well and struggling to find a really good cedar that they would enjoy using and if you put the comment in there it may be something that will help them out as well so it's the reason I bring things up like that up because you know things like that can help out everybody so yesterday's video also mentioned that um, fishing planets patch we talked a little bit about it and how it would probably go live and um, it did uh, I thought it would go live uh, on today Friday um, as my understanding talking to the owner of the company was uh, that it would be released Thursday night Friday morning and so I'm telling you guys that while recording the video and while I'm recording those those words um, they turn the patch live and uh, so before I even got out of the video recording it it had already gone live I wasn't gonna go back and record the video so I just posted it on up but yeah it's live and it had the exact effect I thought it would have within the community there's a lot of unhappy people with it uh, because they expected something that it didn't deliver I had some uh, Italian or uh, maybe it was from the Netherlands a uh, guy jumped in team speak yesterday and just he was irate he was so mad and uh, I mean two hours he, he was talking to me about it and he just not a happy camper and uh, but again they'll get over it they'll get past it well, later on today I'll probably go in and do some videos uh, I'll probably try to get a fishing planet video done today and get up on uh, just some basic changes that they've done in there and go over some some just basic things I, I, I sat around yesterday and thought about how do I approach fishing planet uh, as far as from a video standpoint because you know I, I really don't I don't really know that there's any hot spots left in the game anymore uh, because of the changes that they've made to it um, there may be some really favorable spots but right now I just don't know um, so I, I might as well just do some videos trying to find them if I happen to stumble across one while I'm doing a video oh well um, but I don't know where they're at right now so it's not like I can do any point and cast videos purposely to go here's what you do you throw right here constantly and uh, every time you cast out you're gonna catch a really big fish I just don't even know that that exists uh, in the game anymore I'm sure it does because the programming in it is not uh, is not that creative and I don't mean that as a slam on them but it just there's some things that I've come to figure out and others have come to figure out that in, it makes it seem like some of the programming is not as creative as it could have been some of the variables that are involved in it <sighs> but yeah I'll probably do some videos coming out but the one thing that has come out of this whole thing that I will say today in this video is this if you play games and you're passionate about a game and they do something to the game take the time to express your opinion regardless of what happens now Fishing Planet, but one thing I've come to realize, and I didn't realize it was nearly this bad, and it's unfortunate, if you express your opinion on Steam, be ready to just get blasted. The Steam community seems to be the most vicious and toxic community I've ever seen. If your opinion differs from anyone on there they are going to jump all over you you are not entitled to have an opinion as far as they're concerned and that's a shame 
if somebody wants to go on there and say that in their honest opinion they're not happy with the game the way it's it's currently being built they're entitled to their opinion and you're entitled to go on there and say you may not agree with it but why beat that person to death why just get on there and call them everything else in the under the sun and tell them that they just need to go crawl in a hole and die or get out the game stop playing you cry baby and stuff like that don't don't rip on somebody I watched a very nice guy get just dragged through the coals yesterday on Steam because he had the nerve to post on there that he wasn't happy with the game and gave some suggestions about the game and then immediately people jumped all over him and it's like what do y'all have nothing better to do than to sit on steam and just rip somebody apart it's one thing to say well I disagree with you on your opinion but you're entitled to your opinion I disagree because of this 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 and this but it's another thing to just attack the person and say well I don't agree with you or you're stupid you know you just don't you shouldn't be playing games that are in open beta. You need to quit playing, delete your account, go home, cry baby. No, 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 no. The way things get better are when people express their opinions. And if you don't agree with their opinion, then don't beat them up over it. Just say, I disagree with your opinion. I would prefer the game go in this direction. And if everybody agrees with you on it and they all want to see it go your direction, then you'll get it your way. But if somebody else puts in there that they like it to go this direction and everybody tends to agree more with them, then maybe the game will go that direction. And you may not be happy with it, but, you know, if the overwhelming majority wants it to go that direction, then that's the way it is. But don't don't just slam somebody just because their opinion doesn't match yours. And I hate that about Steam. But at the same time, you got to take everything with a grain of salt that goes on there. But don't be afraid to at least put your opinion out. If you're not happy with something, you need to uh, you need to let the developers know what you're not happy about. Give them a little information about what you don't like. Give them some things, suggestions as how you might like to see that game develop and proceed. Um, and then also point out the things that you do like. Don't just say, this game sucks. You guys made really bad decisions. I'm never playing again. Get in there and actually say, I, th I like what you did here, but what you did here is horrible, and it's completely ruined the game for me. And I wish you would reconsider this and maybe do this instead. Uh, might make things a little bit better. And this is really good, but have you considered doing this? And give them some suggestions in there. And if you're one of these people who trolls the forums and wants to comment on them, you know, be constructive. Hey, uh, I agree with you on this point, but personally, I don't like your idea on this. I would rather see this done, blah, 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 instead of just jumping on them and going, well, you're an idiot. They shouldn't do that. That was just dumb. That's sort of my rant for today. It's really just... I hate to even see what goes on on that board. And then, trust me, I've taken a beating on that stupid forum. <laughs> I have been dragged through the mud and called everything in the world on it. Um, especially by a lot of ignorant people who don't even have a clue. I got accused of, uh, I think it's funny, somebody ripped me just talking about how I'm a crybaby and, you know, the reason I don't do such and such is because I stream the game constantly. I'm like, well, you're just ignorant. I never, you know, I'm sitting here to myself thinking, what an ignorant fool. I've streamed five hours of... 200 plus hours in the game and you're going to sit there and go well the reason he doesn't catch fish is because he doesn't pay attention because he's always streaming uh, that, that helps you when you see people like that because you realize those people just don't have a clue 
so don't put a whole lot of salt in what they say just but put your opinion out there and never go back don't ever go back and read what people do unless you're really really thick-skinned if you're not thick-skinned don't uh, don't read what other people post after you put your post up there just put it up there put your opinion out there let it be known and and move on but again make sure you express your opinion because that's the only way the game gets better is by you at least sharing your thoughts and your concerns on a game and what you like and what you dislike about a game very important thing to do because at, at the end of the day the reason you're in open beta is to help the developers develop the game you're supposed to give them input and when you find a exploit in the game that you can use to your advantage you should in fact in, in, let the developers know about that exploit so that it can be taken out of the game so that everybody's on an equal playing field because don't think that if you found it other people won't and they'll use it as well so there's two schools of thought there's well we can all just use it and we'll get one over on the game developers or there's I could turn this in and get it out of the game so that everybody has a equal footing in the game you have to decide how to do that based on your character so but anyways enough of that game I think I'm gonna do a few videos this week and Kind of step back. I've been playing the Hunter quite a bit lately. Um, just getting back into using, doing some of it. Apparently there is a new map coming out on it. And I'm looking forward to seeing their weekly update. To, um, to see them when it's coming out. Apparently Alaska is the next map. Um, and it's going to be deep snow. And uh, a lot of fun. I think buffalo is the new animal that's going to be involved in it and uh, very arctic the pictures I've seen and the things I've read it's um, supposed to be really really deep snow um, nothing like you've seen before and uh, it's going to be pretty cool pretty cool I'm looking forward to that that'll come out you know, there's some speculation that it'll be out within the next week, even. Um, so I'll probably do some videos on that when it comes out. Uh, just doing a walkthrough on it and doing a little hunting on it. And I know those videos can be a little bit boring if you're not into the hunting aspect. Um, so there's kind of have steered away from doing them. But I think I'm going to do some more. Uh, I think I'll do some videos on it. I think the last hunter episode I did was with the dog and um, the dog is fun but sometimes silly even though I've trained that dog up it still acts like an idiot half the time the coating on it's a little bit off Alright, so we're going to get this mode on up, or just about, about there. And I think this is just going to be a long video today. I think I'll just go ahead and, I don't know, probably collect up some of this grass before we cut it off. I'm looking at the time, and it's probably going to be an hour just doing this field. But I may just let it run. because as soon as I'm done with this video believe it or not this is what's funny I'm mowing grass right now in this video as soon as I'm done recording it and I put it over to render then I'm going to mow grass 
kind of funny, huh? But yeah, that's my game plan. While my video is rendering today and my computer's all tied up, I can't do anything. I figured I'd go jump on the mower and go mow grass. For those of you wondering, the potato harvest, I mean the uh, corn harvest is done. Uh, it was pretty fun. I've never done it uh, mechanically. And uh, I have to say it was really nice to uh, have some automation take care of it. Uh, I've told you guys before, the way I do the corn harvest here has always been the family members and the community members who contribute to the farm have always come out and we just hand pick all the all the corn and you have a couple of tractors and trailers and the bushels go on to the you know as a bushel is filled up it goes into the uh, onto the trailer and then at the end of the day we go through and clean it all and uh, just have a big corn harvesting party we didn't do that this year um, just because of, you know, kind of the way some things are. A lot of the people that are involved are older. And, uh, so, um, I had the opportunity to use someone else's harvester. And, uh, so, I got it, hooked it up, used it. Uh, it was a nice little, nice little thing. I was able to get everything done in uh, in a day and a half, and, and now it's just a matter of distributing the corn out to everybody and uh, letting them do their thing with it. And now I can get get all the fields ready. I'm going to give them a couple of days just to turn. Got a little rain coming in. We'll let the rain do its thing and then uh, I'll get in there and turn the fields and get ready to do our uh, big leafy greens planting my fall planting is always just lots of greens I do tons and tons and tons of uh, collard greens turnip greens some mustard greens they all go into the field for a, a late winter uh, I'll set part of the field up for some Brussels sprouts and get them done as well because I love Brussels sprouts but that'll be what I do for a winter crop it's really mild down here we don't have that's the only thing we don't have is we don't have that good cold snap to really turn the sugars inside the uh, turnip greens I don't know if you know that or not, but it's, you can grow greens, and they, if you ever wonder why some of the greens you have have a really good taste to them, and some of them have not as, not as flavorful, just sort of a little bit bitter or whatever, you gotta have a really good cold snap on the greens come through to give them, uh, to just harsh, to, you know, to, I don't know if it's scar them or what. I was always taught that I don't know if it turns the sugars in them or what. But once you get that good cold snap, it really hits them hard, you know, um, and sets them. That's when they taste the best. And uh, we don't ever really get that down here. That's the only thing I hate about it when I grow greens is... Uh, I've got that cold, i got the cooler weather months, but I don't get that good day of 32 degrees or whatever that really sets them in and makes them really good. When I lived up north, I could grow great greens. I could get them in the field, get them planted up, and then you get that really nice cold night where everything dropped into the 20s. And the next week, when you went out there and picked greens, they had a completely different taste to them than they did a week before. Yeah, I missed that down here. Because we do not get that here. Alright. 
this side is just about done. One more pass and I'll be finished on this side. It'll be interesting to see what kind of yield. This field's still in bad shape. I mean, um, it needs a lot more moisture, which we'll get that tomorrow when it rains. But I need to come back here and here and spray some more fertilizer into the field. But the last time we only got like one trailer load of grass out of it. It was ridiculous how bad it was. I think it was 42. I think, um, let's see. I think that the forge wagons, what, 50,000 liters? I think I got it and maybe 2,000 more liters out of the field. So, really, really bad numbers the last time I did this field. So, hopefully this time it is a little bit better. last time up this side and then we get probably two more passes on the other side and we'll be done side and we will uh, get over here and finish it up might take two or three passes Didn't quite get the field center, but not too bad for eyeballing it. I went too far off. I think I'm going to go against what I said there just a little while ago. I think instead of doing a really long, long video, I think I will go ahead and shut her down after this. And because uh, it will take quite a while to windrow all this. So, what we'll do is we'll come back tomorrow and um, we'll windrow this and, um, and collect it all up. and we'll get it all put in storage and then we can move forward it would be ridiculously long if I try to make this into two long or if I make it into one long video 
it'll end up being a two hour long video and you guys aren't going to watch that so we'll just shorten it up a little bit we'll finish up the mowing here and then uh, call it a day and then tomorrow I will come back and uh, like I said finish up the wind rowing and collecting and probably spray some fertilizer on this field after that as well to get a fresh start on it little triangle down here that needs to get caught and good to go by the way, Reaper's got a, a new mod out. I don't know if you guys have seen it. Landy did a review on it yesterday. Y'all should go check that out. It's kind of cool. It is a uh, John Deere service truck uh, that he has made. And like I said, Landy did a, a little mod review on it the other day. Um, it's kind of neat. You guys might like it. If you haven't checked it out, go to Landy Kid's channel and uh, check out his mod review on it or mod showcase whatever he calls them uh, it's not something I'm gonna dive into but I did like it and I thought that uh, maybe you guys might want to see what he did with it it's kinda cool I don't uh, I don't do that much role play on this so I don't really need a service truck Right, I'm going to leave that right there because I'm going to need it in the next episode. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, hope I didn't rant too much on uh, on Steam. <laughs> and uh, anyways, we'll be back tomorrow. We'll do another video for you guys. And uh, I might actually throw a mod review out today and, uh, and get that done as well. I've got a little bit of time since the weather's turning. But, um, yeah. I uh, hope to see you guys tomorrow. We'll do it again. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And, uh, of course, as always, folks, if you enjoy the videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And uh, that way you get the updates when the new videos come out. Until tomorrow, guys, stay safe, have a good day, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.